It's the Carolina Panthers taking on the New Orleans Saints. The Carolina Reigns have arrived as we are inside a soggy Bank of America Stadium in Charlotte. Today, it's a Week 9 matchup set to go here between the New Orleans Saints and the Carolina Panthers. needed for this guy around the league. Now in his seventh season as a QB. And what a first half of the season he's had leading the NFL in passing yards to this point. He's been a tough man to slow down. So this defense certainly has its work cut out for him. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Simply not much more you can ask out of your running back. Over 100 yards and the three touchdowns. And for an old coot like me, I loved it because he did it on the ground. A running back taking control of the game. That's what I like hold to see. Hold on, hold on. An old coot? Coot. C-O-O-T. All right, I'll look that up later. On play action, they'll throw. And that nearly an interception here on this opening drive, but he gets a reprieve. It's third down. So, CD, you look at this offense and what they've been able to do. 8-0, perfect through the first two months of the year. Second half of the season still to come. We get that. But what kind of a percentage chance do you think that they have of running the table? Partner, I think it's hard to say because history would tell us that the chances aren't good at all. We've seen a lot of good teams get to this point, and then they have that one bad week and takes them out of the running. I'm going to say 25%, and I think I'm being generous with that number. That one will go down as 33 yards on the third down conversion. Pretty good play by both the thrower and the catcher there, Charles. Third down, showed a lot of trust in his receiver. And what I liked about the play was his receiver's understanding that everything wasn't on time back in the pocket. Rhythm was off a little bit. He adjusted as well and gave them a chance to complete that play. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And this turns into a nice gain with a slide at the end. Able to make something out of nothing there. 17 yards and a first down. No surprise to see him running again here. It's something he's done throughout this season. And that run puts him over 500 yards on the ground for the year. He's got to be thinking to himself, if I'm already at 500, what's to stop me from going for 1,000? From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. One thing that you're going to see from this offense is that they love the matchup with their wide receivers against this secondary. That one wasn't successful, but don't expect them to back away from attacking all game long. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Now back to throw. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. It's been a good opening drive offensively thus far, but you know they don't want to waste it and settle for a field goal attempt after that incompletion. So this is a big play coming up here on third down. And that will be incomplete as well. Fourth down after the New Orleans defense holds serve. I think that's a good job there defensively. They did allow them to drive all the way downfield, but once they got their backs to the goal line, they really turned up the pressure. Yeah, they let them get all the way down here. Now the field shrinks. They've struggled to convert, and that last incompletion brings up fourth. Now 
The Panthers coming back out onto the field for their second drive. And they are trying to create some separation within the division. And look, CD, I know that this is still the first half of the season, but this is a big matchup no matter where it falls because these are the top two teams right now in that division. And if you can build a bit of a cushion as you head towards the second part of the season, that allows you to survive the expected injuries, potential upset losses, all of those things, and still be in good shape. And that's caught inside the 30. Touchdown, Carolina. Tommy Trimble, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Panthers are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. And we didn't even get a chance to settle in for that drive. A quick strike of 75 yards, and they find the end zone. Don't you get the sense that film study was behind this one, that they saw something that they thought they could take advantage of? The key is calling it in the right situation. Knowing when it exists to go to it, they did exactly that. They've got to feel really good about what they did in advance of this game. Their quarterback leading this offense back out. He had the touchdown pass last time they had it. And they'll start here with a first and 10. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. The CD a lot of times like to separate speed and quickness, and they've got a back that's both. We know that he's fast in the open field, but man, his first step is so quick, too. It is something, isn't it? Because you think of that type of speed getting to the perimeter and turning upfield, but also when you run those inside runs, he can get into the secondary so fast the linebackers don't have a chance to react. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. He's got the connection to Moore. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. 24 yards the game there. Another first down as well. Well, we know he's got the speed there. He needed the speed and the hands. A great catch. And because of that speed, you have to respect it as a defender. So you have to either play off or make sure you're somehow in contact with him. And he's able to do exactly what you said. Use the speed to his advantage and go up and get the football. That's a big time play right there. Mike, Mike, 55. Check, 55. Mike. Let's get it. Up the gut, McCaffrey. So a good spin move there before he's taken down. A nice little game. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and it'll be second and very short. They stay on the ground, McCaffrey again, and he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. Four yards the pickup, first down. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. This will be a five-yard pickup as they move it from the 20 to the 15. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. They'll give it up to McCaffrey. Oh, look at the juke. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. Christian McCaffrey with his 14th rushing touchdown of the year. And the Panthers have taken the lead. So the first drive ended in three. This time they take it down and punch it in the end zone. So that first drive felt like they were just gathering knowledge, didn't it? Just enough to kick the field goal on the first one. And the second time, they put it all together and got it all the way to the end zone. First down, he'll drop to throw it. 
He's going to look deep for more. And that is going to be pulled in one-handed. Wow. And he's going to be marked out just outside the 10. There's no doubt in my mind that not many guys in this league have had the impact that he's had here in the first half of the season. He's been a big play guy from the word go and continues to be one with another one right there. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right of the yard. Some good strong running right there. Some power and some explosiveness just about got him into the end zone. Second and one from the two. They'll set up a throw. And he's got it. Touchdown, Panthers. A two-yard touchdown grab. And the Panthers go up by two touchdowns. This is why a lot of play callers love play action in this spot. You just want to freeze the linebackers just for a second. Then you got a chance to get a quick pass into your tight end right behind them for a touchdown. their quarterback with this offense to take over once more. He already with a couple of touchdowns. This will be caught downfield by Moore. Touchdown, Carolina! D.J. Moore, 75 yards. And the Panthers will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. I don't think you can get any more efficient or tidy, whatever word you want to use in that. Man. One play, 75 yards, end zone. Yeah, efficient, tidy, excellent words. How about explosive? 75 yards, one play. That means everyone handled their assignment, doesn't it? It doesn't just mean that the defense broke down. They really executed the way that was drawn up on the whiteboard. Big time play, big time result. So here are the Panthers set to take over. They've gone two months without a loss. Eight straight wins for them. And they've got the lead here in this one as well. Trying to make it nine in a row. Back to throw now on first down. Dancing to his left. Spinning away. A solid stiff arm. And he's going to be taken down. So he wanted to pass it, but that thing turned out much better. And the crowd really responded, didn't they? They always like it better when the quarterback is scrambling around, actually takes off and runs downfield. And that's exactly what he did. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. He'll look to throw. And this is caught. It's Brown. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. It doesn't look like this defense found the magic elixir at halftime. This offense was rolling in the first half, and that's continued here in the third quarter. Another big play right there. They'll look to throw. That's Brown. Touchdown, Carolina. Two yards on the touchdown there. And the Panthers take a three-touchdown lead. And there was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself, 
No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. They'll start on the ground here on first down. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Looking to throw. Over the middle, complete. That's more. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. A first down there on a pickup of 25. Well, there's your leading receiver in the NFL in terms of yardage, putting on another clinic well over 100 yards. Are we taking notes? We should be, right? Because I'm going to go back and watch this tape and really enjoy what I'm seeing. The route running, competing for the football, just breaking down a defense. The throw over the middle, taken in. Touchdown, Carolina! Marquise Brown, his second touchdown of the game and his ninth on the year. As his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors, but that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. Through his league leading 40th touchdown pass of the year on their last drive. And they'll start again here. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And oh, a little spin cycle. Room to run now. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. 85 yards rushing now for the NFL leader coming into this ball game. Perfect execution on that inside handoff and then a little will, a little brute strength to move forward after the contact. What do we call that now in today's NFL? Heck, in today's football, contact balance, right? That's the buzzword, the phrase you hear. A back who can absorb contact, bounce off of it, and keep moving. Just what you said, brute strength, force of will. That one caught by Carter. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That one covers 29 yards, first down. Press coverage on the outside, and for defenders, that's the ultimate risk-reward. If you take the risk, can you reward yourself by keeping him on the line of scrimmage? But no, not on that one. Got the step on him. Now it's just a matter of laying the ball out there for him to go get it. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. This is McCaffrey on the give. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. McCaffrey. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. Mark that is a gain of 16 to set him up first and goal. It'll be first and goal when we come back. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. They'll come out in the pistol. Back to throw. 
And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. A CD, they're up big, but they're still passing it. I mean, this is an offense that's had a lot of success in this game, and it seems like they're just having fun out there. And it does feel like there's been a shift out there, doesn't it, partner? Listen, if you're up, you can continue to do what you want to do. It's up to the other team to make you change how you do things. They'll continue to throw it around until stopped. Second and five. And it's caught. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Only three yards there on the completion. That'll lead to a third and goal. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get it out to your running back, and it could turn into a big game downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. Three tight ends up front here. Third and goal. And they'll let the fullback try and take him home. And he will take it across for a Panthers touchdown. His third rushing touchdown on the year, number six overall. And the Panthers add on to their lead, and it's looking like that win streak is going to extend another week. And you wonder now if he might be able to remove the helmet, put on the baseball cap, and watch the rest of this one from the sideline. His fifth touchdown pass of the game. Say that again. Did you say fifth touchdown pass of the game? Yes, sir. Boy, that's a heck of a performance, isn't it? Because they've had no answer for him at all, all game long. Receivers have been open constantly, and he hasn't missed it. Here are the Panthers now as their offense comes back out onto the field. And they've got to be feeling very comfortable and confident here with this lead in the football here in the fourth quarter, Charles. And I don't think that they need to score again, but it seems like this offense is just getting better as the game goes on. They've scored on their last two drives. It certainly feels like a chance for them to continue to have some fun out there, doesn't it? Game's already decided, as you noted. So they can continue to play loose, break out some other concepts, maybe run a few trick plays, get other people involved. Heck, even go deep on one of these first snaps just because they can. From the 21, it's second and 10. He'll drop to throw. And that went a little too high as it's knocked away and incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. And this offense on third down today, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and ten. And he's got his man, Marquise Brown. And he is going to have the Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Tell you what, partner, the way he's been slinging in this one, I think he should be ticketed for a baseball cap and a set of headphones for the next drive. He's been absolutely sensational. But one thing we've both learned about quarterbacks in this league, they often stay on the field longer than you expect. They find some... And nothing but green grass here, middle of the field. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. Christian McCaffrey, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Panthers are on their way to a 9-0 start as they build on to their lead. I know I should keep the focus and the spotlight on the hero that just scored, but tackling's been an issue for this defense all game long. I can't set that aside. We just saw it again here. Missed tackles leads to his long touchdown run. Now the Panthers offense, they get set to come back onto the field. On first down, he'll drop to throw. And he's got the hook up to Moore. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. Well, there's absolutely been no stopping this offense today. They already have the big lead, obviously. Here in the fourth quarter, they could coast to the end, but right now they're not passing up any chances to put up some garbage time yardage. And, partner, why would they? Because 
Who knows the next time you'll be playing as well as you have today. When you're in that zone, you go ahead and take full advantage of it. You don't worry about your opponent. You just worry about what you're doing. And that is knocked away in the middle of the field and incomplete. Well, up big here in the fourth quarter, up really big. That pass and incompletion, I don't think they needed the completion, but Charles, this is an offense right now that they're just having fun. They're clicking on all cylinders. Yeah, you're right. They didn't need a completion. They certainly don't need any more points, but they're not going to turn them down. They're going to continue to run what they have in their playbook, and they still want to run it efficiently. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Good yardage after the catch. Is that play good for 30 and a first? No let up in this passing game. They've been a well-oiled machine throughout. And I actually saw a few guys on the sidelines at the end of the third quarter doing the old hold up four fingers college sign, meaning the fourth quarter is ours. And they certainly weren't kidding. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Graham. And he's brought down after a very nice game. Well, they probably don't need to run a play here, but you wonder if they're going to be able to resist on first and goal. And this will be caught. And the carnage continues. It's another touchdown. Well, this is long since over, and some might see this as overkill. But remember, this is a team that puts on the hard hats, grabs the lunch pail, and tells everyone, we're going to give you a full 60 minutes. And that's exactly how they're playing this one out. Kickoff concludes the ball game, partner, and one side a really nice win in this one. They were good on offense and on defense. And I'm guessing in the other locker room, partner, the head coach is just telling his team, hey, we didn't play well enough to keep it close enough where that one possession down the stretch might have given us an opportunity to win the game. So for the Panthers, the train just keeps rolling 9-0 and now to start this campaign. And they will hit the road next week to take on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Meanwhile, for New Orleans, the loss will drop them to 6-3 and now on the year. And they'll be at home next week for a date with the Arizona Cardinals. And for Charles